What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this uh, very brief educational type of video um, which I wanted to make for two reasons, uh, well basically one reason, a lot, a lot of people in crypto trading don't know how to set multiple take profit orders so that you have one trade and that automatically it takes profit at for example a risk reward of 1 and then a little bit of profit at 1.5 and then some at 2 uh, and you can set a lot of take profit orders for, for one trade but a lot of people don't know how to, how to do that, also not from the signal group so that's also why I, why I wanted to make this video. Uh, for example, I just sent this trade in the in the trading signal group, which if you want to join that, check out the links in the description or the pinned comment. Uh, and here, my first take profit was right here at a 1.0 risk reward. So it, it took that profit automatically. And then uh, take profit number two was at 1.19. So we haven't reached that yet, but um, then you have two take profit levels for one trade. And you can actually do that with your exchange. And I'm going to show you how to do that on KuCoin. Uh, but 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 it works similarly. I know on uh, Bybit. Bybit is the exchange I use. I think it's the best exchange for for trading. Uh, I also have an affiliate link if you want to use that. If you want to sign up for that, it has the lowest fees. It's easy, easy to use and stuff. Uh, but it works the same on Bitcat. Works the same on Binance. So. Uh, I think I already said Binance. So I just briefly wanted to show that to you. Uh, it's a very uh, uh, nice technique in trading. I think it's something you should know. It's not even a technique, but it's uh, yeah, just uh, just a, a mechanic you should know. So here we have uh, KuCoin. As you can see, I just put in a sell order of a Filecoin for no reason, just to show you. Uh, also, I'm risking uh, barely anything, like uh, like seven dollars. But so the thing is, all right. So usually, what you do with a limit order is you already take uh, set a take profit level and a stop loss level. All right. So what you want to do is that you're your furthest away take profit. So for example, with this trade, it would be 1.19. Your furthest away take profit level, you type in as that's what, where you want to take profit, all right? And then your stop loss, you just enter uh, enter the stop loss, which was 1.32 in this case. So that's what you fill in. The furthest away take profit. So if you're a short trade, the furthest down you think it will go uh, and, and just your stop loss. And what you then want to do, so you do that right here, all right? So here you fill in your, um, it, it's almost the same with every exchange. It's just this kind of uh, row. And then at some point you have closed position and take profit and stop loss. Obviously you want to take profit and stop loss. Here you just fill in your normal stop loss and the furthest away take profit. So with my signals, that's usually take profit two, but sometimes it's also take profit three. If I think trades can long uh, run long enough, you fill that in right here. And what you then essentially want to do, what you have then filled in is this. So take profit at 1.19 and stop loss at 1.32, but you want to already take some profits earlier. So what you then do is you go to close position by limit, and then you fill in uh, fill in at what price you want to close more. So you can actually set, you can actually tell it uh, at this limit, I want to close 50% of the position, 75% of the position. Usually at take profit one, I close 50% of the position. It depends a little bit on the trade, sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more, depends on the risk. For example, this was high risk, I would take a little bit more. Uh, but that's what you do. And here you fill in. Uh, all right, let me just uh, let me just do it for an example. Let's say our, our, our stop loss right here was, uh, well, what's our liquidation price? Eight. Um, so our stop loss right here was uh, eight. Uh, the take profit is, the furthest away take profit I think we can reach is $6. So then we have this. Uh, we have a take profit, uh, uh, we have a stop loss at eight, take profit uh, at around, we cannot see that, but at six. Um, and what you then want to do is then, for example, you say, well, at 6.5, I already want to take some profits. You go to limit, you say at 6.5, I want to take 50% of the position out. You press confirm and um, what's this? <laughs> Before you close your position, please cancel the take profit and stop loss order. Click cancel order. Uh, to proceed deletion. I'm not sure what I'm not sure what that is to be honest. All right Well, that's what you that's what you get when it uh, when you do things live Let me actually see what uh, what happens if I uh, press cancel order um, So then it actually What does it actually do on KuCoin? Maybe it not, does not work that well then I'm actually not that sure, but I'll have to I'll have to look it up. I'm fairly sure it's still possible um, but then you just have to uh, you just have to fill in with close by 
uh, you just have to fill in TP1 and then enter t TP2 afterwards. Uh, I think that's the way because right now it does uh, it, it does close a portion of the uh, a portion of the trade at that specific point. Um, but 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 the rest it leaves it open. I know on Bybit again another reason why to use Bybit. On Bybit this is easier. You can just set I want to close this at the limit and you still hold your stop loss and <clears throat> excuse me and your um, um, and your take profit originally. But I'll do some research. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll in the description or something. I'll, I'll give a little bit more uh, into depth uh, detail on how to do this on KuCoin. Uh, but on most exchanges, it works like Bybit. So yeah, that's a quick video on that. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And but for now, take care and bye.